Today, we are going to perform the experiments in the learning activity sheet, Science A, quarter three, week one. So let's start with the activity one, swift water. The materials that we are going to use are the following. We need transparent drinking glass, one cup of a clean tap water. So inside this glass, we also have the clean tap water. Then we will be using one, tablespoon of sugar i also prepared here glass uh, a spoon and another extra big spoon for us to be able to mix the water and sugar so let's start with the procedure first you will put one tablespoon of sugar in a transparent drinking glass Thank you, everybody. So we have here now the one uh, tablespoon of sugar in the transparent drinking glass. Then I am going to add the one cup of water to the sugar. Then you will mix it thoroughly using the spoon until all the sugar dissolves in one. Then taste the mixture. You like the taste of the man? So this time you can now answer your uh, questions and analysis. Number one, what is the taste of the resulting mixture? Number two, why were you able to taste the sugar in the mixture? And for number three, you are going to draw the particles of sugar and water to explain your answer in number two. So this time, you are going to represent the particles of sugar using triangle and the particles of water using circle. Now take note that the particles of the sugar are bigger compared to the particles of water. Then you will draw it on the given illustration showing the mixture of sugar and water we are now on the second activity activity two is about combined volume so for our materials we are going to use one fourth cup of sugar so you may use a measuring cup glass okay and then we also have the one cup of water okay so kung wala po kayo nito class you may also use the measuring cup for rice cooker okay and then the transparent drinking glass now instead of using this transparent glass glass i decided to use this uh old filling bottles of my baby so that it will be easier for me to measure the volume okay so we have here a glass take note that the one fourth cup of sugar is equal to 60 ml and for the one cup of water that is equal to 250 ml okay so for analysis to question number one it says that uh, you are going to answer what is the total volume of unmixed one fourth cup of sugar and one cup of water now take note we have the one fourth cup of sugar, which is equal to 60 ml, plus for the one cup of water, which is equal to 250 ml. So a total of 310 ml for the unmixed one fourth cup of sugar and one cup of water. Okay, so please record that. Now let us start now with the procedure. For number one, 
put a one-fourth cup of sugar in a transparent drinking glass. So I have here plus another extra feeding bottle. Okay, so that again, it will be easier for us to measure the volume. So I am going now to put this one-fourth sugar in this feeding bottle. Of sugar this time add the one cup of water to the sugar and then we are going to mix it thoroughly using the spoon until all the sugar dissolves in water. Please observe, focus your observation on the volume of sugar and water mixture. This time we are going uh, to answer what is the volume of mixed sugar and water. Is it equal, more than, or less than the one and one fourth cup? If it is equal, so it means that it is 310 ml. So a while ago, class, uh, we exceeded the maximum capacity of a feeding bottle. It's only for up to 260 ml. So I decided to transfer the other um, mixture on the other feeding bottle. So this is now class the total of the mixed one fourth cup of sugar and one cup of water. So we have here class 200 ml plus 100 ml. So we have now 200 plus 100 equals 300. Yes, we have 300 ml. Okay, so that is now the total uh, volume of the mixed sugar and water. So you will now answer number two. This time, what is the volume of mixed sugar and water? Is it equal uh, a while ago to the volume of the unmixed one fourth cup of sugar and one cup of water, which is 310 ml? Or is it more than or less than one and one fourth cup and why? And then after you are going class to draw the particles of sugar and salt to explain your answers in number two. So represent again the particles of sugar using the triangle and the particles of water using circle. Take note that uh, the particles of sugar are bigger compared to the particles of water. And then on your illustration class, uh, please label the last container here by selecting from the following options. We have the equal, more than, more than, or less than one and one fourth cup of sugar and water mixture. So you will draw here the particles of one fourth cup of sugar, one cup of water, and the uh, particles of the mixed sugar and water. And answer here. If it's equal more than or less than one and one fourth cup of sugar. We are now on the third activity, activity three, coloring with coffee. 
So for our materials, we will be using one fourth teaspoon of coffee powder, and then a transparent glass and one cup of top water. So first procedure, we will add one fourth teaspoon of coffee to a one cup of top water in a transparent glass. Now please take note, you are not going to mix. Do not mix. Okay? Then record your observation every 10 minutes within one hour. Okay, may add now. After 10 minutes, so this is how it looks. Now you can record your observation every 10 minutes within one hour. Then please answer the questions on analysis. First, what happened to the coffee powder after it was added to the water? Second, when you add coffee to the cup of water, what do you notice? Did the particles of co coffee spread out in water? Three, is it? The particles of coffee, the particles of water, or both particles spread out and move. Why do you think so?